Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this integral integral from 0 to infinity cosine of x cube dx by using Ramanujan's master theorem. Uh, in a previous video, I solved this integral in under one minute. If you like to watch that video, I will add the link in the description and also make a card. So this is the Ramanujan's master theorem. If we have a complex value function f of x, uh, this is the format n is equal 0 to infinity uh, here phi of n over n factorial times minus x to the n then uh, the melin transform of f of x uh, given by integral from 0 to infinity x to the s minus 1 f of x dx and we know uh, this is equal to gamma of s times uh, phi of minus s okay then our integral uh, cosine of x cube uh, so first we can take a substitution uh, i'm going to take x to the 6 power is equal to t then differentiate 6 times x to the fifth power dx is equal to dt okay then uh, we can plug in here uh, limit also we know 0 to infinity here cosine of x cube uh, if we take square root both side this side x cube and this side square root of t so cosine of square root of t times dx we know dt over dt over 6 times x to the fifth power now we know x to the fifth power is equal to t to the 5 over 6 so here t to the 5 over 6 then uh, we can write this 6 1 over 6 is a constant so outside of the integral sign 1 over 6 integral from 0 to infinity now here t to the 5 over 6 so we can write t to the minus 5 over 6 times cosine of the square root of t dt okay then uh, here 1 over 6 0 to infinity now here we have x to the s minus 1 so we can write this is equal to t to the 1 over 6 minus 1 we know 1 over 6 minus 1 is equal to minus 5 over 6 times cosine of square root of t d t okay uh, then here we have uh, cosine of square root of t so uh, our f of x f of x is equal to cosine of square root of t and we know uh, the series expansion of uh, cosine of x is equal to cosine of x is equal to uh, sum of 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n power x to the 2n power over 2n factorial now we know it need to square root of t so cosine of square root of x is equal to uh, we know now instead of x square root of x so here minus 1 to the n and here we know x to the 2n if we take a square root so here x to the n over 2n factorial therefore we know cosine of square root of t uh, is equal to sorry uh, uh, sorry I am going to take the square root of x so uh, then we can write this is equal to sum of 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n times x to the n over 2n factorial okay then I am going to uh, rearrange a uh, little bit so here we can write now sum of 0 to infinity now here we have uh, n factorial how uh, before it here 2n factorial we know 2n factorial is equal to gamma of 1 plus 2 times n and uh, here uh, we need to n factorial so I'm going to write here n factorial sorry n factorial so we should multiply by n factorial and we know n factorial also equal to gamma of 1 plus n and here x to the n minus 1 to the n so we can write minus 
x to the n power okay then we know here we have minus x to the n minus x to the n n factorial n factorial and then we know this is equal to phi of n okay then uh, our integral integral from 0 to infinity integral from 0 to infinity cosine of x cube dx is equal to here we have 1 over 6 1 over 6 and we know the Mellin transform of f of x is equal to here gamma of s so we can write gamma of s uh, s we know now we have 1 over 6 so 1 over 6 times pi of phi of minus s so minus 1 over 6 then uh, we can write here 1 over 6 uh, times gamma of 1 over 6 times phi of minus 1 over 6 we know uh, gamma of 1 minus 1 over 6 over gamma of 1 uh, minus 2 over 6 2 over 6 we know 1 over 3 okay then uh, we can simplify here in the numerator we have gamma of 1 over 6 gamma of 1 minus 1 over 6 so we know uh, about uh, Euler's reflection formula uh, gamma of x times gamma of 1 minus x is equal to pi over sine of pi x gamma of x gamma of 1 minus x is equal to pi over sine of pi x so here we have 1 over 6 1 minus 1 over 6 so we know now uh, this is equal to here 1 over 6 uh, times instead of this part we can write pi over sine of uh, pi x is equal to now 1 over 6 so pi over 6 and here we have <coughs> gamma of uh, 3 minus 1 so 2 over 3 gamma of sorry gamma of 2 over 3 now uh, here sine of 5 over 6 we know 1 half so uh, we can write 2 pi over 6 so pi over 3 pi over 3 times 1 over gamma of 2 over 3 again we can uh, use reflection formula or less reflection formula uh, so we know uh, gamma of 1 over 3 minus gamma of 1 minus 1 over 3 is equal to uh, pi over sine of pi over 3 then uh, sorry here times uh, this is equal to gamma of 2 over 3 so gamma of 2 over 3 is equal to pi over uh, sine of pi over 3 uh, we know the square root of 3 over 2 so here 2 times gamma of 1 over 3 so we can uh, plug in here now uh, gamma 1 over gamma of 2 over 3 is equal to the square root of 3 times gamma of 1 over 3 over 2 times pi now we know this pi get cancelled and uh, here the square root of 3 over 6 so the square root of 3 over 6 times gamma of 1 over 3 okay this is the answer for this integral if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching